Okay, so our last part of our section 3.2 is going to be the role of R squared. And R squared is called the coefficient of determination. And, you know, your calculator will give you R, and R squared is basically, you take R and you square it. And that gives you the coefficient of determination. Um, what this represents is the percentage of the variation in Y that can be explained by the least squares regression line or least squares regression line LSRO. I just think it's cheesy to keep uh, abbreviating it. You actually have to memorize specific words to use for the AP exam. So I'm going to put here, memorize this. Memorize these words. Blank percentage, and this is going to be your R squared times 100, because we want it to be in a percent, of the variation in Y can be explained by the least squares regression line. That's how you have to actually write it out and put it. So, for example, on the next page of what we're going to be doing, um, we get an R equals 0 0.696649. Okay? And that's a pretty strong relationship. I know some people were kind of fighting as to how you use, what you use for strong, what you use for moderate, and what you use for weak. Um, typically... 0.7 or higher, we would say strong, so fairly strong, up to very strong, because you know it only goes up to 1 or down to negative 1, um, and pretty much like that 0.5 and higher, we would say something like moderate, and point, maybe point five and below we would start seeing the word weak relationship between them so point six nine six six this is almost a strong relationship moderately strong relationship r squared if you take that number and square it gives you zero point around four eight five so how you would be saying this in the um, on the AP exam would be 48.5% of the variation in Y can be explained by the least squares regression line. And technically, you could also use the opposite of that or the, the converse of that. What amount is unexplained? So 100% minus 48.5, that leaves you 51.5% of the variation in Y cannot be explained by the least squares regression line. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to basically um, give you the information that we've been working on all along 
we've been talking about this um, GPA and the high school GPA based on the college GPA. So I'm going to put the table up here because I know a few people had lost where the table was. Take a minute and put this information in your calculator. You probably saved this under GPA.